What's up y'all? How's everybody doing? What's today? Y'all. Happy Thursday. I think it's going to be Thursday by the time y'all get this. I am making chopped cheese today. It's been a really, really long time since I made chopped cheese. And today is the day. And I'm making them with these uh, hot dog buns. I was thinking, should I do it with the hot dog buns? And you know what I'm saying? Kind of a, a mini version of the, the hero or whatever they be using. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, or I was gonna make it with these bagels. These bagels feel like hamburger buns, y'all. That's why I was considering doing it with the, the bagels and they don't have a hole in the middle. So, but I decided on these. So I'm gonna do two chopped cheese. Um, I'm making my water right now, which I'm gonna use the same combination I used yesterday, honey, because this, Pineapple coconut is so good. I mean, delicious. And some lime juice. I want to get this out the way first. Okay. So we are done with you. Let's stir you up a little bit. Ah! We'll get her later. All right, now we need a knife so we can chop up these onions. Y'all, this is gonna be super simple. Um. Oh, wait a minute, let's put the garlic butter on our bread because we have to toast the bread. And we want the bread to be toasted before our meat is done. Okay. No, I'm just gonna put the, oh, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. I'm putting the butter like in the middle of the bread. Right in the middle. Just like that. Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and toast these now. I'm about to go put these on the grill real quick. Real quick. Okay. Now, let's put this butter up. Now, we are about to chop this good old onion, and we want it in the long slices, y'all. Well, I'll just cut it. Cut however many onions you want. I'm going to cut however many I want. Let's go ahead and slice our tomato. All I'm putting on my um, buns is ketchup and mayo. Ketchup and mayo. So, go ahead and slice up these tomatoes. Thank you. 
And my lettuce is in the refrigerator, y'all. So I'm gonna put that, get that later. Exciting. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, you know me. Yes, I'm saving this. <laughs> I sure am. I'm gonna save it. All right, let me check on my bonus. Hold up, one second. Check on the bonus. Check on the bonus. Check on the bonus. <laughs> The guy that I saw that seasoned this meat, he was from New York. He has his own deli. He said he was the one who invented the daggone chopped cheese. He uses saison. Um, wait. Where is it? Do we not have any more? Oh yeah, here's my song. Saison packets. So, I'm gonna use a couple of these and just my regular seasonings. Like onion powder, garlic powder. And I'm gonna use a little bit of Tony's. Let me get my bread for a freaking burner. Oh, that's her. Perfection. Wait, I want a little bit more grill marks on this side. So, let's go ahead and put our Saison packets on this meat. And we're going to act like we're making burgers at first so we could get those that good crust and then we're going to chop it up. I think I only need two. Yeah, I think I only need two. Chopped up, so we can move this out of the way. All right, now onion powder. I didn't see them do all this, but you know, I gotta put my spin on it and do what I like. Uh, garlic powder. some Tony's. Did like that. Now, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I decided I wanted to put some Worcestershire sauce in here. It just gives a great flavor. <coughs> Always gives a great flavor. So, let's put some of that in there. Mix it all up. So you can <coughs> get all of those flavors all throughout the meat. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, this meat about to be good as hell. 
It me about to be good as hell. Alright, let me smell it. Mmm! Oh my god, I got some meat on the floor. God dog it. Okay, so we're going to divide this in half, make it into meat patties. It don't matter if they thin or thick. Honestly, it does not matter. Because you're going to chop it up after you get your uh, crust on your um, patties. I'm gonna chop it right up. But one thing I don't know is, should I add my onions when I add when I add my meat, or wait until I chop up my meat to add my onions? Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do because I know y'all can't tell me right now. Dude added his meat when he uh, added his, I mean, added his onions when he added his meat. And at the end, it did not look like them onions was cooked through, like caramelized. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to see, though. We're going to see. Baby. Okay. Now. I can pick this up now. Take these gloves off. Honestly, I'm gonna put some more Tony's on top just to make sure it's seasoned. All right. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of olive oil in there. I know that the meat makes uh, oil, but I'm just going to put a tiny, I ain't want bit. Literally put like a teaspoon. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. See, I didn't even put that much. So they get hot real quick. Maybe I should go ahead and put the onions on. I'm going to forget it. I'll just do it now. I'll do it now. Live and learn. Live and learn. This ain't the right thing to do. Um, it's all good. <laughs> See, I do need some more oil so these onions can cook. I just need like a turn of the pan. There we go.
trying to find out like what I'm going to chop it with. Um, dang, I wish I had one of them African chopper things, but I think I'm going to have to use this. A freaking spoon. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. So these onions over here is going to be for one of the, you know, sandwiches and these over here going to be for the other. All right, so I'll be back when it's time to flip. All right, y'all. So I'm about to flip my meat. Let it cook on that side for a little bit and we'll be right back. We turn the heat down a little bit. Alright y'all, I took my onions out because they are already cooked. And I don't want them to cook any longer. So I'm about to chop it up, but I'm about to open up my cheese right now. And apparently this is the cheese that you supposed to use. Separate the meat down the middle. And we're going to add our cheese. So I'm adding three pieces to each side of meat. Just like that. Oh, it is melting good already. Just like that. Something is telling me to put cheese on the actual bread for when I lay this hot meat on the bread. There'll be like some extra, let me turn it down some cheese on there. Let me go ahead and add my onions back on top. Y'all, I'm putting some, um, never mind. There we go. Oh, it smells so good. Cheese Louise. Let me turn it down.
Okay, that's cool. So I'm about to put the mayonnaise on my bread right now, real quick, real quick, quick, quick. Uh, I see people put mayo on the bread and ketchup. So that's what I'm gonna do. That mayo and ketchup makes a beautiful, delicious sauce, y'all. Yum. And then I'm gonna put a piece of cheese on top. I'm also gonna put some ketchup, y'all. Some mayonnaise and some ketchup on my bread. Of course, I'm using the sugar-free ketchup. about to transfer this to the bread. So coming back over here. like right now and we're about to put the meat and try to omit the grease however you can I don't know um, I need something to sit this on Spatula. I was gonna try to do it with the spoon so I don't dirty up nothing else, but I need a spatula. I told y'all this was gonna be quick and easy. Quick and fast. Ooh. Trying to make it last. I hope that meat uh, melts. That cheese I have on there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Should I have just put this on top of here like that? Instead of trying to fold it? Because baby girl, this is not going to work. Yep, that's... Oh, oh my gosh. Can I pick this up and eat it like this? Probably not. Probably not. Yo! Oh my gosh! I just thought of this, to put this on top like this. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it just like that. Just like that. So let's get our tomatoes and put them on there. Just like that. Okay, so that's, that's that, okay? Um, and I'm gonna make another one with the with this bread right here. Let's see which one I like better. You see how soft that is? Yeah, we're gonna. 
We're gonna do one on that bread. All right, y'all, so I toasted these buns right here. Now I'm about to put this meat on here. Just like that. Delish. Boom. Put my tomatoes on there. We're not doing no lettuce. I don't want any lettuce for some reason. I just jumped. Boom. Just like that. Did like that, baby girl. And I honestly, I don't feel like I need anything else. Probably a pickle, because I like to crunch on a good pickle. Hey, did y'all order y'all's wood? Did y'all order y'all's wood? We did. Wood and water. Mm. Need wood and water, people. Wood and water. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, chopped cheese, baby. Chopped cheese. All right, we gotta hurry up. You blow my mind, baby. I'm so in love with you, baby. You blow my mind. You blow my mind. I already made my drink. It's already over there. I don't think I need any chips. Or do I? <clears throat> I don't think I need any chips. Say hi to Mary Show. <laughs> and this is it, peeps. Mmm. Y'all look at that. All right, let's eat peeps. Oh, we may, we are having chopped cheese tonight. Look at that, look at that. Who want a yummy bite? We got pickles, you know, and I might eat some chips, I don't know, I might. I have a pineapple coconut flavored water with lime juice, yummy delicious. Who wants a yummy bite? Who wants that good, yummy bite? Oh my God, it looks so good. Mm.